And now for more on climate change, we're joined on the line by Mr. Pan Jiahua. He's director from the Research Center for Urban and Environmental Studies at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences. Thank you so much for joining us on China 24, Mr. Pan. So it's been almost a year since the Paris Climate Change Conference. Can you tell us more on what China has done to tackle climate change over the course of this past year? Well, I think that China has done a lot uh, to uh, to uh, fighting uh, climate change at a global level. As you know, China has been taking a leading role uh, in uh, formulating the Paris Agreement and uh, to um, the uh, ratification of the Paris Agreement. That is uh, all that together uh, making the uh, Parliament taking into effect uh, a few days uh, earlier. I think that, you know, without the China's uh, positive uh, role, uh, I think that the, the process could be much more uh, difficult. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, um, you know, for uh, global efforts to reduce uh, carbon dioxide emissions, China's uh, uh, contribution to uh, emission reductions has been very impressive and aggressive as well. Uh, as you know, the um, targets made is that by 2030, 20% um, non-fossil fuel energy share. I think that this is very aggressive. And also 60 to 65% intensity uh, um, carbon intensity reduction as compared to 2005 level. That's also highly uh, um, aggressive. And the forestation is even more uh, you know, um, effective as, as well. Mm -hmm. In particular, if you look at you know, China's uh, uh, you know, immuno emission trading uh, system. I think that, uh, you know, the EU emission trading system is not that effective and not that impressive at all. But China is taking the lead in uh, building a nationally uh, uh, operational emission trading scheme. I think that this, uh, all this, you know, I think that at a global level, they are um, very much, uh, you, 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 you know, um, positive steps. Uh, so, in, uh, let me also ask you this, process. Mr. Pan. The Paris Agreement was a landmark deal, and now uh, countries in, uh, Mar in Marrakesh will be talking about specific plans to implement that deal. What exactly can we expect to come out of this COP22? Well, I said, it, it, this, uh, you know, uh, the Paris Agreement has been taken into effect already, and now it is the implement. For implementation, I think that you know we need to have an overall, you know, framework for uh, global uh, stock take. That is, you know, how uh, how how much we have done and what further we need to uh, to to make, and also you know the the uh, financing is a uh, challenge as well. How you know the money will be materialized and how you know bilateral and multilateral cooperation will be made. In particular, I think the something new. Uh, is the sub-national entities because, you know, in the Paris Agreement, there is a, you know, a, an article, you know, requiring sub-national entities that is at a local, city, and the municipal level uh, to uh, take uh, cooperative efforts. But how this could be uh, implemented, I think that, you know, all this at uh, the Marrakesh uh, conference, uh, they will be on the agenda. And in the end, I think that there will be, because, you know, currently, of course, there are uncertainties, but, uh, you know, all the parties, to me, you know, they, they seem to have a uh, political and a realis realistic will to push the process forward. And we'll certainly keep watching what's going to happen in the next 10 days. Thank you so much, Mr. Pan, for your insight on this.